We got a good one here for you, my math party people. I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. And in today's video, we have a rate word problem here. But this is going to be one of the more complicated ones because in this problem, once you read it, you might realize that we have two rates in the problem. So the way that we're going to handle this is understanding the rules for handling multiple rates. And then we'll set everything up nice and appropriately, go through any common mistakes that people truly make with this type of problem specifically, and we'll go ahead and solve it. So let's go ahead and get started here. And remember that if you like this video, just go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're uploading videos on the weekly. We got your back. All right, so here we go. So at this rate, how long would it take for the bicycles to be 96 miles apart? Now, why did I read the question first? Again, we always wanna start with what we want. What is the goal of the question? So the goal is to figure out what you're answering. So it says at this rate, how long would it take for the bicycles to be 96 miles apart? And if you take a look at the answer choices, you might notice that this gives away what you're looking for, hours. So even if you didn't realize, hey, uh, how long? What does that mean? Is that distance? Is that time? Well, if you look at the answer choices, time, okay? So we're looking for time. What we want right here is time equals blank hours to be distance 96 miles apart. So to be a distance of 96 miles. Okay, so we have some pretty cr uh, critical piece of information here. So we know that we want time. We have the distance associated with that time. Now it looks like all we're gonna need is the rate associated with that time and distance. Because remember, Distance equals rate times time. So let's make sure we write that down so that we understand the principle that we're working off of here. So distance equals rate times time. This is what we're using. And again, notice that we are looking for time. We are already given distance. And again, all we need to find right now is gonna be that rate. Once we have that rate, we plug that bad boy in and we're good. So it seems simple enough, right? but we need to be very, very, very careful. So watch as I go through this and remember that really with all word problems, it's not about what the numbers are, it's what the numbers mean. Here's the example. It says that two bicycles begin from the same position and travel in the same direction. Bicycle A and bicycle B travel at 15 miles per hour and 23 miles per hour respectively. Okay, so this may seem pretty benign, right? But what you may not have noticed is at the beginning of the problem, the first sentence it gives away a very important piece of information. That's gonna be this. That's gonna be, they start from the same position, so they begin in the same position, and travel in the same direction. That is the dead giveaway about what we're gonna do with these rates over here, 15 miles per hour and 23 miles per hour. Here's why. Whenever we're traveling in the same direction, Whenever we're traveling in the same direction, we subtract the rates. Subtract the rates. Now, the reason for this is because, let's say my hand up top and my hand on bottom. Let's say this hand up top takes three steps. One, two, three. This hand on bottom takes two steps. One, two, in the same direction. So again, one, two, three, one, two. How far apart are they after that little instance there? Well, if you go three and then two, well, there's only one extra step, right? And that's why you subtract, because you are looking at the space that is not covered between them. They both covered those first two steps, but then that hand up top covered that third step. So that gap is what you're looking at. That's the distance between them. So to calculate the distance between them, which is a gap, you are going to subtract their rates to get the rate at which they are gapping apart or growing apart. So I really hope that that makes sense my party people because we're gonna grab those rates and we're gonna take the 23 miles per hour and we'll subtract the 15 miles per hour. And if that was confusing in any way, shape or form, stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you what you need to do to really get yourself going when it comes to rate word problems. Again, this is unit five in our program. I'm gonna show you where exactly to find everything. I got you. But nevertheless, 23 minus 15, that's gonna give us eight miles per hour. So that right here, that's gonna be our true rate. They're growing apart at a rate of eight miles an hour. So booyah, we have our rate and we're good to go. We plug everything in. Our distance right here is 96 miles. 
Then we have the rate being eight miles per hour. And we're gonna multiply by time, so T hours. And we're done. All we're gonna do is divide both sides by eight. Simple enough. Once you actually have it set up, you're good. Once you actually have it set up, you're good. So we have eight hours, 96 divided by eight, that's gonna be 12. And so time, it takes 12 hours for these uh, bicycles to be one, uh, 96 miles apart. Right there, that's answer choice C. And so there it is. But as promised, my party people, look, you're here at the end of the video, and let me show you where to go to to get more practice that's gonna guarantee that you're gonna be good to go because you have problems where you're going in the same direction, opposite directions, toward each other, catching up, different scenarios with different events. Like there's so many different types of rate word problems that you need to make sure that you're not trying to memorize. So if you look behind me, you're gonna see the arithmetic reasoning math bootcamp inside of your dashboard. So if you are in my program, all you need to do is open up your arithmetic reasoning course, go to unit five, as you can see right over here, unit five, and you'll see that you have lessons, extra practice, casual practice with video solutions, and best of all, you're gonna have a unit checkpoint that's gonna basically certify that you're ready to tackle rate word problems on the actual ASVAB. And so that's what it is behind me right here. You have to have at least six out of 10 correct to pass, and you have to get 10 out of 10 to get all five stars. So it basically tells you how ready you actually are. And so great thing about this is that you can click ready to start when you're ready, and bam, you have all these questions. You're gonna have the navigation bar right behind me, my big old head, and you can go ahead and try this out. And we'll look at the beauty of this. You can try all of these problems out, all of these different types of problems, not just the same one over and over again. And the great thing is that when you're done, like let's say we go through it, bam, look at the awesome thing behind this. It'll tell you, hey, cool, this is your score. I got a one out of 10, oh no, so don't give up. You can take a look at the feedback report right here and look at what happens. You get to see the step-by-step -step solution for every single problem every single one every single time so this is why i'm so excited to create things like this for you my party people because the people that use this my students that use this they always pass the test so make sure you're going through the courses the classes the recordings the guided practice that way you have everything you need to raise your score at the end of the day as always my party people if you have any questions at all about how this works feel free to shoot me a text or you can click the link in the description of the video to see more about the asvab all access program Again, it's how my students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. And I'd be happy to be your teacher as long as you're willing to work hard. So with that said, my math party people, I love y'all. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.